Nimen Kename, Gandang Bebi, the students of the University of Education, Miniba, Lighthouse Chapel International, the media houses in Ghana, friends and family, I greet you all. Tonight, I will be speaking against the motion that a Ghanaian woman's place is in the home, else she's falling foul of tradition. Well, please don't forget to download the GMB app on Google Play Store and vote NA to keep me in this competition. Or you can text NA to the short code 1413. Thank you. Tonight is all about debate, and I am for the motion that a Ghanaian woman's place is her home. Otherwise, she is falling far off tradition. To keep me in the competition, don't forget to vote Afra to the short code 1413. Thank you to everyone who have been supporting me from day one, especially to Dr. Kweku Oteng, Dr. Owusu Ajumai Kennedy, and not forgetting my one and only Dean of Faculty of Education, Dr. Sulemana Achalso. Me damu nyinase onyankupo of charges nana no my opponents ladies and gentlemen i greet you all i am afra representing the ashanti region and i firmly stand for the motion that a Ghanaian woman's place is her home otherwise she has fallen far off tradition panel of judges taking a look at the motion there's a word that stands out and that is the home according to the oxford english dictionary a home is a place one lives permanently but growing up as a child, my beloved grandmother defined the home as not only the place one lives, but where you are natured, groomed, respected, and understood. The home comprises of the father, who is the breadwinner of the family, the mother, who is supposed to support her husband, and the children. Panel of judges, a typical and traditional Ghanaian woman stays at home Reasons be that she is the primary caregiver of the family and she's supposed to instill social etiquette, good morals, supervision of their formal education, and also serve as a role model, teacher and mother to her children. Panel of judges, the current school of thought says, it is okay to know your rights and also fight for equality, especially after the Beijing conference. In that same vein, it is divine for every woman to rise up to her responsibility of managing her home and the people in it. Panel of judges, I want my opponent to know that a woman's sole engagement in domestic affairs is not a sign of laziness. Managing the home, in most cases, is more difficult or challenging than managing even a business. It involves financial management, human resource management, procurement and general operations. That is why Margaret, the late Margaret Thatcher, Prime Minister of Britain said that any woman who understands the problem of running a home is equal to understanding the problem of running a country. And so you see where I am coming from. Panel of judges, permit me to engage my opponent in a little mass over here. My name is Mami, Mommy, why are you ready? Any young quay. Any Imagine you are supposed to pay for the services rendered by a woman at home. And so imagine that you are to pay 15 Ghana cities for every bed sheet washed and pressed. 20 Ghana cities for each time you are comforted. Another 20 Ghana cities for each meal prepared. And 30 cities for security services. Now make your calculation. What amount did you arrive at? Bacho, per my calculation, up. it is 85 Ghana cities. Now multiply that 85 Ghana cities by 365 days in a year and give me the value of a woman that stays at home versus the woman who claims to be out there earning almost nothing. Panel of judges, there is nothing wrong with a woman working. But all that I want my opponent to know is that Work is not a certain place or building one wakes up early in the morning and rushes to. But work is the value one brings to the market for profit. Work is the value one brings to the market for profit. If we agree to this fact, 
said there's no argument about a Ghanaian woman who stays at home and uses her proverbial singer sewing machine given to her at her traditional wedding to creatively build her fashion industry, being it as a seamstress, designer, or even a DAA. Panel of charges, Nananom, my opponent, ladies and gentlemen, from all the points raised by we, the affirmative team, it is a clear indication that a Ghanaian woman's place is her home. Otherwise, she is falling foul of tradition. Na I can't find a can on my same be say, or power way, or turn your door. Now, on turn to draw, Madam Wassey. Panel of judges, distinguished guests, my opponents, ladies and gentlemen. I am now, and I am proudly standing. I am proudly speaking against the motion, and I quote, a Ghanaian woman's place is her home, otherwise she is falling foul of tradition, unquote. I guess my opponent is lost, because the scenario given her didn't even appear in her presentation. Panel of judges, I believe that he who lives by the sword dies by the sword. A lot of people think the Bible says a woman's place is the home, forgetting that the same Bible says a woman is a helper and a companion to a man, which means you help him in every aspect of his life, economically, spiritually, physically, you name it. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 15 talks about times and seasons. It further says that what is happening now has happened before. What will happen in the future has happened before. Because God makes the same things happen over and over again. Which means there is nothing new under the sun. So therefore, women chasing their passion and ambition started long ago. When Adam wanted a name for his newfound partner, he named her Woman. Woman which means she has some attributes of a man in her. It further says that a man will leave his mother and his father, join his wife, and the two shall become one. One here means you do things in common and together without adding a third party. The Bible further continued in Proverbs chapter 31, verse 4 downwards, to describe who an ideal woman is. It says that this woman wakes up at dawn to plan for her day's work. She spins wool and flax, mess. Um, sorry, she spins wool and flax, makes sashes to sell to merchants. She wears gown and fine linen, which means this woman is independent. She also makes sure that her earnings are profitable, which means this woman is business-minded. She buys a field and plants a vineyard. A, one, land, one acre of land on the Dodowa Road is about 10,000 Ghana cities. Imagine a woman buying a whole field. This should tell you that this woman is economically fit. Which husband under the sun would not be proud of such a wife? Which child would not stand tall to praise such a mother? Please let me come down to our current economy. I conducted a survey and gave some men some questionnaires to choose between a career woman and a housewife. Four out of five men chose a career woman. Why, I asked. They said man cannot do it alone. Even Jesus Christ did not die alone on the cross. Two thieves were added to him. Panel of judges. Panel of judges. The Holy Quran dedicates its chapter 4 to women, where Muhammad mentioned that a woman is not subjected to the home, but wherever her passion drives her to go. Traditionally, our mothers were working on the farms and were making clothes at home. That is an occupation. They were not just home. <laughs> they were not just home. If you, if you really love your partner, you will help them. Because while he, stay, he takes care of the student's school fees, takes housekeeping money and pays the bills, you also add up and, keep, and buy petty things at home. Panel of judges. No religion in Ghana teaches that a woman should remain home, but rather go wherever her passion drives her to go. Gifty Auntie is, Gifty Auntie is married to a chief who equally passes as a radio presenter. Yet, she works so hard because she's thinking about the future of her children. Panel of judges, ladies and gentlemen, all these points raised by my colleagues are clear, clearly states that a woman's place goes beyond the home. Thank you. All right. So now we hear from the ladies. One minute each for rebuttals. Where do we start? We'll start with Afra. Um, my opponent. 
I want you to know that maybe you were not listening to what I was saying. I was not against the fact that a woman is not supposed to work. That is why I mentioned the proverbial singer sewing machine, which is an indication that a woman is supposed to work. If she creatively built her fashion industry and people bring their things for her to sew, what does she gain? Is it not money? Is she not going to support her husband? And so my opponent, I want you to know that we are not against the fact that a woman is not supposed to work. But all that we want you to know is that she is supposed to combine everything and be a multi-tax person. That is what we said. Okay. Let's hear my from you. Dear, please, are you for or against the motion? You can't hang in the middle. Because it, either you choose the woman to remain at home or you choose she works out there we chose she's supposed to be at home but with all we are the tradition to it and you have to know that traditionally our great mothers were doing something they were not idols they were doing something so that is an occupation simple okay let's hear from the judges now a debate is on the judges what have you to say right once again a very strong performance from both uh, participants. Afra, you were timely. I noticed that you didn't, uh, the, the, the question was, you had to allude to the, to the Bible passage, Proverbs 31. You didn't. You, you, you alluded to the theme, the overall theme, but thir the Proverbs 31 itself, you, you seem to have skirted, which, which uh, drew my attention. And you came across as a bit as not calm. I don't want to use the word aggressive, but you weren't calm enough. Okay, so so that's what I'll say. But your timeliness was good. Uh, now you addressed Proverbs 31. You picked verses from it and used it. Uh, you also quoted from the Quran, which is which is good. I mean, I don't know whether you're a Muslim or not, but if you're not, <laughs> then it makes it especially especially. Uh, delightful that you, you, you can stretch your, your knowledge uh, to, to those areas. And then you also clarify the essence of a debate. All night long the theme has been people switching to the middle and, uh, and the, the essence of a debate is that you hold fast to your position and you defend it rigorously. So that was a good pointer to, to your opponent. Well done. Okay, let's go to Judge Linda now. I agree with Benny. Um, uh, Afra, beginning you took the position, then when there was a rebuttal, then you were you took a middle ground, you know. So I got a bit confused exactly where you belonged. So um, she she nailed it quite well. I mean, you need to take a position and defend it, you know. So I am for Greater Accra this evening. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So, Great Accra, Na, and Afra there from the Ashanti region. Thank you, ladies. Thank you very much. Put your hands together for them. They've done fantastic. 